Hey everyone, so within this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make a dice roller for only £2. Right, so some of the materials that I'm going to be using today is I'm going to have some felt. Um, this comes in a pack. Ideally it would be better to have um, a larger pack of felt for what I'm going to do, but this will also help if you're making a slightly smaller dice rolling tray. And then also we're going to use a photo frame. Okay, so when deciding to take up this project, one thing that's really important is that on the photo frame you have quite deep sides. Um, so this one is, I think, is an inch deep, which is really going to help to stop those dice coming out. And one thing that I do like about it in particular is that it's um, slightly slanted, so this as well should, um, should help uh, for the dice not to roll out. So first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the back off. So one of the things I like about this one is that the, uh, the arm actually goes under and clips. Uh, so that makes it useful. So I haven't got to take this off, but you might want to take this off by just clipping away this. I'm going to throw away the piece of paper that it came with. And also this piece of glass uh, I'm going to remove for the time being. So what we're left is with the photo frame and then we've also got this piece of card. I'm going to use this to place down the felt. <coughs> So using this back piece, what we want to do is use it to measure our foam. Now luckily for me, this fits and if you've got an A4 frame, an A4 piece of felt will work. Um, I'm going to go for two different colours, um, that's going to be part of my design. I suppose one of the things you don't want it to do is to get too wet so that your felt will soak through. So that's quite important that you spread it nice and evenly. I think it's a good idea to smooth it out so that you don't have any bumps. And now we just have to wait for it to dry. Once it's put back together, the dust roller looks like this. You could have airbrushed the sides if you wanted to paint the sides if you're not happy with the metallic look but I think it's quite cool. But if you're happy to leave it there, then you've just made yourself a perfectly good dice roller. But I'm gonna take it one step further. Right, so I've made a stencil out of some paper. Um, you could do some complex designs by printing something off and cutting out with the scalpel, um, but my printer is broke, so we're gonna just do some simple letters and I'm just gonna paint them on.
there we have it. So you could obviously do some airbrushing, make a better design, um, but this is what I've just chosen to do today. Um, so that's how to make a dice tray on the cheap. Um, give a thumbs up, like and subscribe if you thought it was alright, and uh, send in some pictures of the ones that you make. <laughs>